And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to pixelate a photo. I've got the original right here, you will find that video description link below. Let me copy it and I'll rename it. Make sure that you've got the copy selected in your layers menu. Then go to filters, blur and there you'll find the pixelize option. Check the preview button right here. Most importantly is the block width. That determines the width and height as long as this is linked of our pixels. You can uncheck it and then only adjust the width and keep the height for example. But let me check it and we've got squares so whether width and height has the same size which is typical for pixels. There's also an offset for the x and y axis so that sets off these pixels a little bit top down or left to right. In this case it doesn't have much of an impact. The size ratio gives us this effect where we have basically a grid. For the most part you want to keep it at 1.0 for each. But if you don't you will have a background and you can change the background color for it right here. For example let me set it red. Just confirm it via OK. If you only want to apply this effect to certain areas of your photo we just need a layer mask. In this case I've got a white background so it's not an issue but let's assume you only want to add it to something in the foreground. Just add a black layer mask like this. Make sure that it's active and then use the rush tool. It's right here. You can also press P for that. Use a white foreground color. And as I've said, make sure that you've got the layer active and paint on it and not the photo itself. And then you can bring back parts of this pixel effect. And if you want to get rid of parts, just use a black foreground color, paint on your layer mask again. And that conceals this pixelate effect. And this is how you can pixelate a photo in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.